Thanks so much, Emily. Well, are you hosting a holiday get-together? Why not serve some special drinks? We have Chef Ryan Nolan from Mahoney's Grill in Oshkosh with us. This smells amazing. What you got going? Well, this is a ludicrous, insane, rich, delicious hot chocolate <laughs> with cherry schnapps. So it's kind of <laughs> like a hot chocolate covered cherry schnapps. Bring it on. There's no way, shape, or form is this good for you at all to <laughs> only imbibe for the holidays and then forget about it until the next year. Okay. Because basically what we're going to make is, is kind of like a creme anglaise and we're going to add chocolate to it and that's going to be the base of our of our hot chocolate. So we've got a couple of, well, more than a couple. We've got about egg, eight egg yolks there. And we're gonna add about a cup of sugar. Now we wanna whisk those together right away because if you were to put your sugar right on your egg yolk and not whisk it and incorporate it well, you can have a problem with your sugar crystallizing. Mm -hmm. It's gonna sit on that egg yolk and get hard and it's not gonna dissolve. Okay. So we wanna incorporate that well. And then we've got about a quart or so of head, uh, uh, milk here and you can use whole milk or 2%. And what you're going to do is slowly just temper that in there, meaning you're just going to slowly add it to your egg yolk. If we added it in all right away, the heat from that hot milk would just scramble our eggs and it's not going to have the desired effect. So this milk was just under boil, not quite all the way there. Okay. So then what we do is we take our mixture, we put it back into this pot and we add it back to our stove. And over like a medium high heat, constantly stirring, you're gonna cook it and eventually it's gonna get nice and thick. It's mm -hmm. gonna kinda turn into that consistency of, of heavy cream or pretty close to it. And uh, once we get to that point, we're gonna add our chocolate and then we're gonna, we're gonna finish it with our schnapps. Now if you wanted to, you could not add the schnapps. You could make this recipe, add a little vanilla mm -hmm. or something like that for the kids, you know, so you don't have to have the booze in it. Yeah, so, so do you nice literally option. just dump all the chocolate yeah, so in there? Yeah, so let's say, imagine we've got this cooked and we're to that point where it's nice and thick. We're just gonna add one pound of really good dark chocolate. Okay, and how long do you think that'll all take to come together? Um, it's gonna take you, you know, depending on how high you have the heat, you know, and again, you want that medium high heat. It's maybe gonna take about 10 minutes for that sauce to get the thickness. Now, if you overcook it, it's gonna look like you have scrambled eggs on the top because mm -hmm. you're actually gonna cook those eggs to scramble. If that happens, don't worry, don't throw it out. Carefully put it into a blender and puree it in the blender and it'll kind of come back. Yeah. You'll reincorporate it all. But again, be careful because it is very hot. So eventually, are we, is this going to look like this? Yep, it's going to look like that. It's going to be nice. We're going to feel like Willy Wonka and you got that oh. chocolate river. And then at the end, you know, you're going to finish it with some cherry schnapps. Now, I like to use Dr. McGillicuddy's cherry. Mm -hmm. I think it's got a, a great cherry flavor. And we would just add that right to it. Now, if you wanted to switch and add Bailey's Irish cream or or creme de menthe, you know, it's kind of your choice. Oh my goodness, that smells yeah. so good. So then what you can do is, and we have this ludicrously large coffee mug here, we can just fill it up and you can just see it's, it's basically <sighs> like drinking liquid chocolate. So you probably wouldn't want to have a portion this size. <laughs> well, why not? Or maybe you would, I mean, it's your, pro, <laughs> you know, it's your choice. Okay, it's so, not done yet. Not done yet, you know, so we're gonna, clean that up just a little bit. And then we've got some fresh whipped cream and we didn't whip this to stiff peaks. It's just a little bit under stiff peaks. Okay. So it almost looks like a latte cappuccino type thing. Saved a little bit of the chocolate, have a microplane and we're just gonna- Oh, you're good. Do a little bit of that chocolate on there. And then a few maraschino cherries. Whoops. Right Ryan, on the top. that is amazing. So there oh, you go. Let's put it right Super here. Super rich, and we'll put it. Yeah, we'll put it next to our lettuce wraps that we had before, and absolutely awesome. gorgeous. You'll find the recipes for both of these items on the front page of the Good Day Wisconsin page on Fox11Online.com. Thank you You're so welcome. much. We'll be right back.